Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. So 2021 has been a very, very interesting and very, very crazy year for every really person on earth. But um, even in the League of Legends world, it has been interesting and crazy as well for G2 and Damwon Kia. They both, uh, I mean, Damwon Kia has had a pretty solid year, obviously making it to the MSI finals. G2 has not had so great of a year, but hopefully they're kind of ramping things up a little bit. Um, neither team is really as dominant as they once were. Um, nobody really as scared of G2 as they once were. No one's really as scared of Damwon Kia as they once were. But the one thing that has remained the same, the one thing that is still there, the one uh, constant going on is this Damwon uh, G2 rivalry, which we have now seen for a couple of years now. One of, honestly, the biggest, best, and most hyped rivalries in League of Legends, which is super, super cool. Uh, I really think it's a shame we don't get to see more international tournaments, but uh, last week we talked about Mickey sending some shots at the uh, LCK, and now today we're going to be talking about Showmaker sending some of that right back and starting to slowly build up that rivalry, build up that hype once again, and hopefully they both make it to Worlds. Hopefully they get to play each other at Worlds. And hopefully we get to see this one play out in real time. Because that would be very, very fun. So definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy this video. I'd appreciate it so, so much. Subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content. And consider checking out my Patreon. Patreon.com slash I am Germ. I'm thinking about starting to upload some podcast episodes onto there. So if that's something you guys would be interested in, definitely let me know and uh, check that out for sure. With that being said, here we go. So, uh, again, last week we, re we reacted to Mickey's comments about uh, the LCK and how he believes, uh, you know, LEC bot lanes are just as good, if not better, um, than some LCK bot lanes, and they don't think, uh, he doesn't think the LCK should necessarily be getting as much praise as they are, and Europe should be getting as much hate, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you know, it was spicy, people took it as trash talk, even though uh, that's definitely not how he meant it, but today we have the answer from showmaker where he says uh you know the the title of this article obviously showmaker on the lck versus lec bot lanes i think that we're better than the lec i don't evaluate lec that high so again that is very very spicy as well that uh, is a little shade being thrown back uh the way of mickey the way of g2 and the way of the lec as a whole which is pretty funny and pretty interesting because you usually don't get a whole lot of trash talk out of um korean players out of the korean leagues anything like that korean teams but it definitely makes it more interesting it definitely makes it more fun and again Damwon and G2 have actually been some teams that have butted heads, have thrown back some trash talk. There's definitely mutual respect there, um, but they definitely uh, want to beat each other. They definitely have knocked each other out of international competitions in the last couple of years, uh, and they're definitely they definitely see each other as some of the, each other's biggest competition in the world, really. Um, so this was an, an interesting interview um, after a, a game for Damwon where they were talking to Showmaker, and they asked him, have you been watching other leagues? Which league do you watch the most? He says he's been watching the LPL a lot. There's a lot of good teams there. It's easy to watch them since they're in the same time zone. He usually watches all the strong teams, FPX, RNG, EDG, uh, and it helps a lot since all their styles are different. And I agree that that's a, definitely a great thing to do. I think the LPL is the best league in the world right now. I don't really think it's all that close. I think they have the best players. I think they have the best teams, best infrastructure, best coaching staff, best play style. Uh, and I think everyone around the world would really be, uh, you know, benefiting from, from learning from the LPL, watching the LPL more, um, not necessarily trying to just copycat them, but but pick up some of their good things learn from some of their mistakes uh and and maybe you know develop your own style that has some lpl type flair and bring some more of that to your region because i think they do uh, a lot of good things um, but they do ask you know what about the lec and he says ah, i don't watch the lec that much and then they ask him about mickey's comments so they said recently mickey said that the lck bot lanes aren't as good as the lpl or the lec you've played in the bot lane this season so what do you think and he said, maybe the LCK is behind the LPL. And again, everyone has a ton of respect for the LPL right now. Obviously, uh, they are the defending MSI champions. Uh, Damwon just went to MSI, was not able to take down the LPL. Um, even though Damwon is the reigning world champions, LPL, I still do think, was the strongest region as a whole last year, even though they didn't have the one single strongest team. Um, I think Korea has been very, very top heavy. I think top to bottom, LPL, very, very strong league. I think they definitely have um, you know, some of the best players in every single position in the world. Uh, and they definitely deserve a ton of respect. So uh, it's not uh, you know unusual to see the Korean players uh, giving LPL that respect. 
but he says he does think that they are better than the LEC talking about the LCK obviously he does not evaluate the LEC that high it might be worth comparing LCK bottling to the LPL but with the LEC there aren't many that stand out he says maybe rogue or misfits and I think that is so so funny because rogue rogue bottling is actually pretty nasty Han Sama is is a super super fun guy to watch um Trimby has been a beast this year as well but misfits Kave and Vander I mean they're they're definitely not towards uh I mean they're they're solid they're good they're not one of the best bottlings in the LEC however I, I mean look at upset and Hillisang. they've been disgusting this whole season I think they really if they're able to make it to international competition which will not be easy for Fnatic they do have a tough road I think they're going to be just I think they're going to be very very good we saw uh Reckless and Hillisang be very very good last year and I think Upset and Hillisang can do something very very similar G2 with Rexus, Reckless and Mickey they're always going to be right there Mad Lions just had a pretty good um bot lane showing at this past MSI now they haven't necessarily been as good in the summer split but uh they can definitely be that good again um so it's interesting LEC I think does actually have a lot of nasty nasty bot lanes I think they have some very very good players and again i've made my opinions be known that i i would kind of favor the lec when comparing the lck i think overall i would honestly favor the lec as a league a little bit higher than the lck right now um but especially in the bot lane which i think is one of uh europe's better positions and like better uh combinations and, and the lck it's not necessarily one of their better positions um but i just did think this was funny obviously uh, taking some shots back not only is he saying that uh he thinks the lec is worse than the lck but he also is not even mentioning g2 even when they ask him about about Mickey and about G2 specifically, uh, which is actually pretty funny. Now, Mickey did get asked by Ashley Kang about his previous comments. He did want to clarify things a little bit and clear things up, um, which I actually did think was a little bit funny as well because Mickey had a chance to, you know, maybe go in a little bit harder, maybe talk a little more trash. Um, but here's what he had to say. Um, yeah, I mean, I did see that I had like a Reddit post about, you know, this rival, like LPL botlins are worse than LSE botlins, which wasn't really what I was going for. It was more like... That's funny because that was like the exact like title, thumbnail, everything I did as well, which is just super, super funny. You know, obviously he knows people were playing it up. He knows people were playing into it. And that's what I got to do. That's my job here. Everyone always says that, you know, Eastern Botlins are so much better and we're going to get stomped. It was kind of same for MSI when perks were all swapped. And yeah, these guys are going to get so demolished by SKT Botlane or whatever Botlane. But it was never like, you know... Oh, painful. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so for MSI, before yeah. MSI 2019, yeah. everyone was saying that me and Perks are going to get like really murdered bot lane by everyone. Yeah. So, but then after playing internationally, no one was really much better than us. Like even though other bot lanes were better, some of them, I didn't feel like we got like really outclassed compared to 2016 when I went to Worlds for the first time mm. and I played like Uzi Mata or like Deft and Care, or Deft and Mako. And I was like, absolutely mind blown, like what they were doing I, like, at, yeah. I, I. So I think that is actually super, super interesting. And that's the point I agree with so, so much. Like, yes, Europe has come such a long way. And even I think in, in some ways the LCS has come a long way and being able to keep up with China and Korea, especially. I think Korea used to be this absolute behemoth that no one could really touch. They were absolutely unbeatable to even say you were close to the LCK in any position or any game or anything which is crazy. And I think the LCK has, has really come back down to earth and the LEC and LTS have also progressed. The the, the tables and the stage are, are much more kind of flat than things have ever been previously. I, I really do think that, uh, you know, the LPL is beatable. I think that the LCK is beatable. We have seen uh, Fnatic make it all the way to the World Finals. We've seen G2 make it all the way to the World Finals. We've seen G2 uh, win MSI. We've seen Cloud9 make it to the semis. I mean, these things are possible. And that's, I think at the end of the day, that's all Mickey is asking for is a little bit bit of respect and it sounds like he's not getting that respect from showmaker right now so maybe you'll have to go and earn it at worlds which i think would be very very fun to watch and see but that is pretty much it for this video today guys definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it i'd appreciate it so so much leave a comment down below what do you think about this whole drama this whole situation do you think the lck uh is way better than the lec you think they're close you think the lec is better i'd love to hear guys thoughts and opinions subscribe to today and all my latest content consider checking out my patreon patreon.com slash i am germ hopefully i catch you guys in the next one but until then Peace.